for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff. Especially when it's stuff that's designed by people in our hobby, for people in our hobby. And what we have here is the latest package that I have been sent by the inestimable Gavin Fuzzy. And I'm pretty sure I know what it is, because for the first time he actually reached out to me before sending me stuff. Usually it just shows up with no explanation. Um, and I'm glad he did, because we ended up uh, having a, a, a chat. And uh, I am well pleased with what should be in here. Sure enough, we have upgrade kits for the Fortnite 6SH. Um, and, uh, well, they, they look amazing, as all of his stuff always does. It is a nine round cylinder. The original ones are six rounds, so this is this is 50% increase in ammo capacity, which is fantastic. Also has a replacement barrel. It is still slightly flared in that cartoonish um, uh, Fortnite look, but uh, less long and awkward, which would make it much more holsterable. And that up. Uh, Oh, well, there's the rotation max. Hopefully I can figure out how these kits actually go in. Uh, the reason I was glad he reached out to me is he was going to send me one blue one and one black one, and I asked for two black ones, uh, and we ended up, uh, there was some haggling and it was lovely, uh, because I already had a matching pair of the pistols where I had painted the uh, blue stripes black, so that they are now in my colors. Simple little cosmetic mod, but looks Fabulous, so I will have a matching set of those. And then he also sent me the blue kit that matches the original blue, and I went ahead and picked up a brand new Fortnite 6SH. Still in box, ain't never been sniffed. Mm, yeah. So, that's lovely. And uh, yeah, it, uh, it matches that blue really quite really quite well. So that'll be fun. I'm going to install these and then uh, there shall be some plinking. So uh, here we go. Let's, let's take a look at these kits and see what all is actually involved. So there you are. This appears to be the hardware as well as one more barrel. There we go. Yep. So stickers and then rotation max which appear to be different that is not i don't know how how that is done but that is that is different uh, than just straight 3d printing i don't know if it's resin printed or cast or what the deal is but it is smooth. The biggest problem with any of these upgraded hammer shot cylinders, or, you know, upgraded cylinders, is always that the rotation mech doesn't quite work as well as it should, because the the fiddly level of 3D printing in order to get those rotation mechs are never quite spot on, but that rotation mech I think is going to be smooth and lovely. Okay, there is a screw involved, and there's some sort of a ring. Hopefully I can work this out. And then GFZ, Gavin Fuzzy Customs, stickers in each kit. Very cool. And one, one screw. Hopefully I can figure out how all of this is gonna go in. So I'm gonna bust one open and we're gonna see what, uh, what am, what am do. Good news, there is in fact uh, PDF instructions, which I will link in the description. Um, and uh, it is in fact all extremely straightforward. That ring was in fact a spring spacer, which just gives you a little bit more pre-compression and thus a little bit more power. I will eventually get heavier springs because this thing will take hammer shot springs just fine. Um, you do just take the original cylinder out, put the um, rotation mech on there, and then that, that spring or that screw is in fact, um, for holding the barrel on, um, which we'll get to when I get this thing reassembled, which I think up to that point, I do want to add a little bit of lubricant because the instructions say you should, so I'm gonna. Cleverly, the 
barrel actually uses the lug from the original one. So you take the barrel apart, take the lug section out, um, and then you can do whatever you want with that. There is the first one installed. And it is lovely. Got the rotation moving smooth. I like that barrel. <laughs> Downside is, I'm honestly not sure where the two barrels that came with my original ones are. I'm gonna have to track them down if I want to be able to put the extended barrels on all of them. So, uh, yeah. But, I've got two more to install, so I'm gonna do that. And then we will, well, it'll probably be dark by then and I'll do the testing tomorrow and this video will be out eventually. I'm gonna do the blue one now. Right, I got them all working. This one, the rotation mech was having a little, was a little bit fiddly, but I was able to get it sorted out. This one is smoother than the others and I, I think that's just a matter of, I don't know if it's the filament, ah, you know what, I'm just gonna leave all that. Right, I got them all working. Now I just need to find the other two barrels. They're here somewhere. I'll be back. Hopefully, with barrels. Success! One was in the living room, one was on the golf cart. Uh, it's weird. Right, we are here on the range. I have the Gavin Fuzzy, I guess it would be the 9SH now. Pretty fabulous. I've got it loaded with just Adventure Force waffles and I'm gonna see if I can hit anything. Oh, a little low. There it is. Aha, I got a bottle. is fabulous. Now to dual wield. That's so pretty. Ah, oh, come on. Double ping. Give me a double ping. Meow. My aim is all over here. Aha, I got it. A ping. One more. Ah, oh, almost hit the 50. Lovely, these are absolutely fantastic. Um, might go ahead and get heavier springs for them rather than just using the spacer because the spacer will eventually wear out the springs. Uh, but uh, as they are fabulous, nine rounds in something that's vaguely the size of a hammer shot. If you took these barrels off, they would be almost exactly the size of a hammer shot, which is impressive given that it's a nine round and uh, the most we've ever got on a hammer shot is eight, I believe. Uh, unless you go to Boomco and then you can get considerably more, but uh, loving it. They should still fit in a double AK pouch, even with the barrel, though, like I said, I'm tempted to take the barrel off, which wouldn't be difficult. There's just a plate that it attaches to that you can just remove and put them back on if you feel like it, if you really want that longer barrel look, which I do like. Um, I kind of wish I had leg holsters for them. They're not going to fit in my, my hammer shot holsters, though I could do um, drop holster, or drop leg uh, thigh drop leg panels, words am hard, with uh, double AK pouches on them, so. Yeah, yeah. Digging them, my thanks to Gavin Fuzzy for sending me these. They are gorgeous. Uh, the blue one is actually even better. It, it has a more, there, there's just something nicer about the, and I don't know uh, how it rotates. It's just a little bit, a little bit nicer. And I don't know if that's the, the cylinder, or if that one just got lucky with the rotation mech. It's just there's something a little bit different about it that's really, really nice. Though I am glad that the, the matching black ones are almost identical in their feel for their rotation. They feel exactly the same. This one's just a little different. Not, not sure what the difference is, whether it's a slightly different print with the cylinder, slightly different rotation mech. This was also the one that I ordered later, so it's entirely possible there's a slight difference in the production of the blaster itself. It happens. Um, there are notable differences from from wave to wave of blasters sometimes, so. Don't know what it is, but it is fantastic. I don't know what I'll do with this one. I may make it a prize at my next war, uh, or just a gift. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to keep the other two. Don't need a third one, so I will probably do something nice with it. And uh, again, my thanks to Gavin Fuzzy for all of these. Um, links to all his stuff will be down in the description. He has some of the best 3D printed parts out there. Uh, my personal favorite hammer shot is the the eight round cylinder that I got from him 
I, I also have, obviously my carbine was built using a lot of his parts. Um, just wonderful design work and absolutely immaculate print quality. So check him out, support him. He is fabulous. Thank you ever so much. Thank you for watching. segment for those of you who stayed to the end of the video. Uh, can you fire two half darts? Well, they will fit, but the, the top ones are a little bit loose, so if you're running with the barrel down, they might fall out, and I have no idea how well it'll actually fire. Let's find out! That, they both, they both hit the 25. That is ridiculous. Again, they both hit double pings on a single trigger pull. I love it. Get yourself one. For those who are curious, they're hitting about 80 FPS.